So how is uh, Chicago treating you so far? Uh, it's treating me real well. Uh, it's a little disappointment that I'm not able to play right now through the sprained ankle, but uh, it's not going to keep me away from the gym. I'm still at impact working out what I can do in chairs, uh, shooting spot shooting through a chair, uh, doing dribbling drills through a chair, but it's definitely painful and disappointing that I'm not able to work out here, but I think I'm doing real well in interviews right now with teams. What have those been like, the interviews for you? Uh, interviews been well. Uh, getting to know teams, uh, getting to know the feel of what teams want to see out of me, and just basically seeing what the teams think of me. What kind of questions do they ask you? Well, what do they talk to you about in their sessions? Uh, they pretty much just ask me what I, I feel what I could do at the next level, seeing what role I could play and what role I feel comfortable playing at the NBA. Any questions that have repeated themselves kind of over and over? Uh, I would say the question of repeating itself overall is how I will shoot the ball. And and still, I wasn't able to prove it this uh, week at, with my ankle hurt, but uh, I've definitely been proving an impact in Vegas, and I definitely show that I can shoot the ball real good. Because the best thing, the worst thing about my shot uh, me shooting bad is my shot selection. I take difficult shots this year at, at San Diego State. It's not that I couldn't shoot, my mechanics was bad, it's just I took uh, tough shots and I took difficult shots. So the best thing about me is just making a smart decision when my shot selection comes. Your background is kind of interesting. You came from kind of a, more like a remote area of, of California, right? Is that like further out than where Paul George is from? Uh, it's probably about 45 minutes an hour away from where Paul George is from. Uh, I'm not really from uh, Victorville. I went to high school out there. I'm from Hawthorne, California. But when I went to high school, it's probably about 45 minutes an hour from where Paul George is from. What was that like growing up there? Uh, it was different. Uh, being a city, city baby growing up in L.A. is definitely different. But... Now going out, uh, going out there, definitely been successful for me because my mom put me in the right school and the right path for me to have a successful life. When you were in your senior year of high school, did you imagine that three, four years down the road you'd be, you know, potentially in the green room and maybe a top twenty draft pick in the NBA? Uh, I definitely didn't imagine it. I dreamed of it. But uh, uh, dreams all sometimes come to reality, and I'm actually living in that dream right now. I'm making it become reality, so I'm blessed and I'm thankful for the situation I have right now. How did that happen? Let's say you know a kid is watching this video right now, 17 years old. How did how do you get from being a pretty anonymous guy, not a top 100 recruit, to you know potential top 20 draft pick? Uh, I just say stay working hard, uh, be hungry, be humble. Never get comfortable where you're at, and if somebody tell you you can't make it, just work harder and work at it and just get better at what you got to do and prove them wrong. Prove everybody wrong and doubt you, and everything will work out. Even though you're, you're a great scorer, I think one of the things that teams like about you the most is your competitiveness, your intensity level. You, where does that come from? Uh, just... How my background came. Uh, I always had to earn. I always had to work for what I won. I couldn't have anything. A lot of guys here had a lot of stuff laid out on the table for them. Coming from big schools and big high schools, came from a little high school, and I didn't come from a big college. Best thing for me, I always got to go out there and earn it and grab what I want to get, and, and that's why I got a chip on my shoulder and I always want to win and I never want to lose. What's it going to be like for you transitioning from playing the three and the four to? pretty much the two in the NBA? Uh, I think I'll do good at the two. Uh, I wouldn't say I played the three. I wouldn't say I played the four at San Jose State. We just played four guards. I just had to guard a big man on the defense end, but on the offense end, I played like a guard. So it was real good for me to be out here and play in a shooting guard position. What kind of shooter are you going to be five years down the road from now? Uh, I'm going to be a real good shooter. Uh, I'm, I, like I said, it's going to make me uh, I have to make good decisions with my shot selection. And after that, I'd be real good. Because if you look back at my San Diego State career, um, all anything that was tough for me is I was taking bad shots. Uh, freshman year, I was a real good three-point shooter, but I wasn't put in a situation where I had to take difficult shots. My sophomore and junior year, I was forced to score a lot of points, which made me uh, take difficult shots. But after, after seeing what I did and what my stakes was, I think I have a higher percentage going into the NBA next year. What are you hearing about where you might get drafted right now? Uh, Mid-first. Uh, if I can show that I'm shooting the ball like I know I can shoot the ball, I think I can see myself being a lottery too. How important is it for you to get drafted really high? Uh, it's real important to me. Uh, I feel like if I get drill, drafted real high, that shows that I can shoot the ball real well. But if I don't get drafted real high, I, I know I consider it be a first round for sure. 
I just got to go and wear my team, and whatever team I go to, I'm going to make sure that they're thankful with that pick they got. I'm going to make them earn it and show that they made a great decision by picking me. There's a lot of two guards in this draft, and people have them ranked in a lot of different ways. Um, are you looking forward to working out against anybody in particular, and maybe just from a competitive standpoint, not a, I'm going to kick his ass, but more of like, you know, I, someone that you enjoyed watching on TV that you, you'd like to kind of measure yourself up against? Uh, I want to go against whoever's the best. Uh, I think right now they're saying uh, Macklemore and Oladipo is the best, so I want to go against them. Because if you can match your game against the best, then, I mean, you're considered one of the best. So I want to go against the best. Uh, it's a lot of good shooting guards out there right now. It's real good. But right now, Macklemore and Oladipo is considered the best shooting guards right now in this draft class, and I would like to go against them. Great. Thank you so much, Jamal. Appreciate it.